Before we begin, I just want to let you know that Chase Cutting Kitchen is taking the entire month of May off. I mean, come on, it's my birthday month. You really think I'm gonna spend the entire month just sitting in front of my computer keyframing every little thing? Frank and Beans is a classic hearty staple. But if I'm being honest, it can be a little bit, um, basic. So, how do we spice it up? Simple. We're making pork and beans Cajun style, boys. Woo! To begin, grab yourself a five or six quart saucepan and set it over medium heat. Okay, once that heats up a bit, toss in a tablespoon or so of oil. And once that heats up, add five ounces or one cup each of diced onions, celery, and green bell pepper. This is known as the Cajun Holy Trinity. And I know I shouldn't shove my religious beliefs down another person's throat, but you're going to hell if you're making Cajun food without using this. Okay, we need to draw out some oyster, so add a teaspoon and a half of salt. Cook until the onions turn translucent. Alright, our onions look nice and translucent. Next, add three cloves of garlic minced. If we added it too early, it would have tasted all burnt and bitter. And now comes the tasty bits. Add in one and a half pounds of sliced andouille sausage. I know, sounds like a lot, but you know I like mine with extra sausage. Ha ha ha, you made a gay joke. You're so funny, original, and clever. And with that not at all predictable and hackneyed in every single way. Oh, stuff's burning, better at this. Next, add one tablespoon of tomato paste. And try to get it in a little toothpaste tube like this if you can. Helps if I opened it. And now the main star of our show, one pound of pre-soaked Great Northern beans. Leave them overnight to soak, 12 hours at the most. Just, uh, just rinse, just throw just toss away the bad beans, clean them, and let them soak overnight. 12 hours max. All right, mix everything together. And add just enough chicken broth to cover. And finally, add one tablespoon of salt-free Cajun spice mix. We want this to be salt-free because I already added salt earlier. There's plenty, and there's plenty of salt in the andouille sausage. Now don't go adding more unless you know what you're doing. Thankfully I know what I'm doing. All right, now bring this to a boil. Okay, it's come up to a boil. Bring the heat down to medium low. And uh, let this simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. And if some young Elon Musk type is watching, please invent some sort of smell of vision plug-in device because ooh, 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 the kitchen smells amazing. Anyway, it's been 20 minutes and our beans are cooked, but it's not done. We gotta thicken our sauce. So are we gonna make a Cajun style roux? It's delicious, but no, it's in here the whole time. The reason why I told you to let this simmer for 20 minutes is because we need to cook the beans. Once the beans are cooked, we are going to smash them on the side of our pot. Once we smash them, all the starches are let into the liquid, thickening up our stew. And if it looks a little low in liquid, don't worry, just add a little bit more. So while this thing still, while the thing simmers away, smash them beans. You see how the stock is becoming opaque? That's a sign that it's working. Keep smashing until it's your desired thickness. Okay, let this go on for another 10 minutes. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, another 10 minutes gone by and it looks more or less done. <laughs> Let's finish this off with a cup of green onions. Let's give it a taste test. Just a tiny pinch of Cajun spice. Bruh. Now you know how to take a plain dish like Franken beans and spice it up Cajun style. Now your bunghole is going to hate you in a few hours. Oh well, totally worth it. This has been Chase Gutton's Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun. Blow, 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 blow. And meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. It might be the ending of the video, but here's the twist. I just got started filming. Dun, dun, dun.